In honor of World Giraffe Day, I'd like to share some fun facts on giraffe biology, ecology, anatomy, and conservation, while I demonstrate my process of sketching a giraffe. You may download the same high-resolution image of a giraffe that I'm using from the link below this video. Giraffe are even toed ungulates, in the same order as cattle, hippo, goats, and sheep. Their closest relative is the okapi, who also lives in Africa. They are the world's tallest animals, some reaching up to 19 feet high. The pair of horn-like structures on their heads are called ossicones. Both males and females have them, though males are larger. They are made of cartilage and are covered by skin and fur. Ossicones vary in number depending on the type of giraffe. The Rothschild's giraffe has five altogether, while others have three. The coat pattern is as unique as a fingerprint, which enables researchers to identify and study individual animals throughout their lives. And the patterns vary slightly between species as well. The long neck has seven bones, just like in humans, but they are much larger and stronger. The mane is short and stiff like a donkey's. Males differ from females in being taller, heavier, and having larger ossicones. A giraffe has the largest heart of any land mammal, weighing up to 25 pounds. Their hides are very thick and tough to protect them from both predators and the sharp spines on the plants they browse upon, like acacia trees. Their feet are the size of dinner plates. A giraffe's front legs are longer than their rear legs, so in order to drink, a giraffe must splay its legs out because even though their necks appear very long, they still aren't long enough to reach the ground. Their tongue is black due to the pigment melanin. This pigment serves the same function in human skin, helping to toughen and protect it from sunburn. A mother giraffe is pregnant for about 400 days, usually with just one calf. The calf is born while the mother is standing up, coming out front hooves first. At birth, the giraffe calf weighs around 150 pounds and is six feet tall. The baby can stand on its own and nurse within 30 minutes and can run within 10 hours. The giraffe calf will nurse until the mother weans it at about 10 to 16 months. They reach full maturity at about five years and normally live into their 20s. Giraffes are ruminants and like cattle, have four stomachs and chew their cud, which help them to get more nutrients out of their diet. They eat and digest food similar to a cow chewing and swallowing, then regurgitating the partially digested cud back into their mouth to chew it again, which helps to release more nutrients from the food they eat. Giraffes are browsers of leaves, not grazers of grass, and being the tallest of Africa's animals allows them to eat what no other browser can reach. Giraffes' favorite food are leaves of the acacia tree, they may eat between 50 and 75 pounds of leaves every day. They roam long distances in search of food, up to 11,000 square kilometers. Their tongue is long, strong, and nimble, helping them to reach the most inaccessible leaves. Their coat is thick and tough, protecting them from sharp spines of trees and the long claws of predators. The giraffe's main predator is the African lion, which mainly takes small calves and injured adults. Other predators may include hyenas, leopards, and crocodiles. Once a giraffe reaches adulthood, it is safer from predators, but still protects itself from this threat by taking turns being on the lookout, especially when the herd is sleeping or drinking at a watering hole. Their constant companions are birds known as oxpeckers, whose role is to keep the giraffe free of parasites like ticks, of which they can eat up to 400 per day. However, the birds are both a blessing and a curse since they sometimes get carried away and will peck holes in the mammal's hide to lip up the nutritious blood. 
Recent genetic research by the Giraffe Conservation Foundation has determined that there are four species of giraffe, not one as previously thought. They include the southern giraffe, northern giraffe, reticulated giraffe, and Maasai giraffe, each of whom lives in a different region of Africa and has a slightly different coat color and pattern of spots. Giraffe can regulate their body temperature with a fine network of blood vessels under their colored patches of their skin. They serve as vital pollinators and seed dispersers of the plants they browse on. They are not mute, as some people assume, but can make a variety of sounds, including bleats, grunts, snorts, moans, and hisses. A giraffe only needs to sleep about 30 minutes per day, broken into short cat naps, or giraffe naps as it were, throughout a 24-hour period. Males engage in battle by hitting each other with their powerful necks. A unique scent from skin alkaloids may function as an antimicrobial and parasite repellent. It is said that the two alkaloids make giraffes smell like a mix of feces and jasmine. Can you imagine that? They walk using a unique pace, with legs on the same side moving forward at the same time. They lack a trotting gait, only walking and galloping. Many giraffe populations in the wild are under threat. Their numbers have plummeted by more than 40% in the last 30 years alone. Less than 100,000 giraffe remain in the wild and they have already gone extinct in seven countries where they once roamed. Reasons for the decline of giraffe populations are many. Primarily, they are losing habitat due to human population growth, which leads to both degradation of their habitat and hunting of the animals for food. Their habitat is rapidly being converted into farms and mined for its oil and minerals. Woodlands are logged for their timber and trees are collected for firewood and to turn into charcoal. As herds of giraffe get separated into smaller populations, they are even more in danger of becoming locally extinct and at risk of inbreeding, which weakens the genetic diversity of the herd. Clearing land for new settlements and farms and overgrazing by cattle put more pressure on the savannas that giraffe call home. Widespread droughts and wildfires have also taken a toll on these magnificent, once abundant mammals, and will only get worse with the effects of global climate change. Political coups and civil unrest in several African nations lead to indiscriminate and short-sighted exploitation of many natural resources, and an increase in hunting of giraffe for food and poaching. Tragically, over a thousand rangers have been killed by poachers in Africa while defending giraffe and other vulnerable wildlife. Other reasons for declines in giraffe include disease, lack of water due to diversions for agriculture, and deaths from snares set by poachers. Well, I hope you enjoyed this story about giraffe biology, ecology, anatomy, and conservation. Thanks for listening. Have a great day.